I could not find it. Here's some new air shocks. No, it's not round. Keep it. Magic juice fixes my car. The, the rear shocks in this car, from when we bought the car, we knew they were air shocks. Air shocks have little nozzles somewhere on your car that you're able to actually pump air into and literally pump the car up, like raise car up, like all, all people think about bags. It's like an old technology. It was more used, I think, for drag racing and stuff, but the more air you have in your shock, the less compression you have, and then the less you have, the more compression you have. But you're able to adjust, to adjust your rears a little bit. Our main goal was to find the nozzle for the air shocks and just pump them up because they should be pumpable. We should go pump them up and it should sit more even in the rear. Once you back things up on the ramp, start looking for that little air nozzle underneath the car. Probably spent a good hour and a half looking for that air nozzle. I traced the airlines everywhere. I could not find it. I used my phone as a camera to get inside like little parts above the gas tank. I couldn't find it. And but when I was also down there, I realized that the air shocks looked really old. I saw that one of the shocks didn't have a bolt in it. So it was just hanging. It wasn't doing anything. It was just sitting there. So that was another one of those decisions that made me want to just buy all new shocks for the car. Good morning. So last time uh, we found the rear shocks are just not connected and we can't find an airline at all for them. So we said buy new ones. Got some new Monroe air shocks and we're going to install these today and hopefully get this thing on the ground and on the track. I started getting to work and I found the unbolt the shocks. It was actually there's an access panel on the top of the bed and it has like, I don't know, 20 bolts around it. Basically, I had to take this panel off here to get access to the tops of the shock towers. And now that I'm noticing this, it is really, really, really dirty in here, but and see top of the shock tower right there. So we gotta get that out. We're gonna do the bottoms first though. Huh. Need one size smaller wrench. Oh, if you can see that, but look, the nut is not round. I don't know why. That's cool. That was too easy. Time to kind of rip these airlines out of here. Not really needed anymore. So I think I'm just gonna take them out. Uh, oh, they're brittle. At least I answered the question if these were good lines or not. So, slightly dumb at the moment. I found the valve for the air, old air shocks. Uh, the entire time I looked the other day, I could not find this. And of course, I just find it now. But it is hanging out literally right here. That is the valve for the air shock. Right here. Which makes me sad because I looked for so long. I'm gonna show you before I go in there what I have to do to get these shocks put up. Basically, a little nozzle right here. Inside of here, there's a little o ring. Tube shoves through this cap into this o ring, and then you screw the cap on, and then the airline's on. We don't have a lot of airline, so I'm gonna. It in there first just so I know I'll have enough once I run everything and then yeah we're gonna run this thing and hook it all up so both shocks are in time to run some airlines and then uh, I think we can drive it Let's see if it airs up this is my attempt to show you put this here and then I'm gonna run this wire to wherever our Schrader valve is. But for right now, I'm gonna drill a hole here and zip tie this in so it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so airline is in. It's right here. I know it's hard to see. Um, we're gonna get a compressor and bring it back here. See if we can fill this thing up with uh, some air. 
I'm gonna go get a compressor and get my car back here and we're gonna get some air. We're gonna put, use this little compressor for my Mercedes. The instructions goes, it says it's got 20 something PSI and then start to look for leaks. Um, so we'll do that and look for some leaks. I'm hoping there aren't any. And if there aren't, we'll pump it up more. We should see this rise pretty far up. So we'll, uh, we'll get going on that. So the rear passenger side shock, the airline popped out. So that was the problem. Uh, I think it's time to try again. I got it in there a little better. Hopefully that holds. Failed me twice. New o ring, new cap. Hopefully, this works. I don't know. Well, it's holding 100 psi. It didn't really raise up as far as I was hoping it would. Uh, okay. So, now that we got the uh, shocks all done in this car, front and rear, and everything like that, so. I want to take it for a drive before I do that. I want to put this in it. So this is called, uh, this is from Lugard and it's their instant stutter fix. This might be the thing that fixes my uh, transmission when I start making a lot of noise. And it's not really making noise, it's more just shaking a lot. Um, talked to a couple people and they said that this is the good stuff. So apparently you just put it in there and it should work immediately. So I should know on this drive whether it did anything or not. Uh, if not, we'll figure something else out. This stuff just reminds me of transmission fluid. See if it magic juice fixes my car. Okay. So, just took the wrench out for a drive. And the suspension is great. Like, it's awesome. But I didn't have anybody to film with me, so I didn't record while I was driving. But the shaking is still there, and it's really bad. And honestly, the more I drove it, the more I realized it was based on RPM and not speed or anything like that. So did a little bit of research and uh, I think the engine has to come out of the car. I'm gonna go check the old engine, but I'm pretty sure the old engine was an old block and had a 28 ounce balanced flywheel. And this car, this newer engine should have had a 50 ounce because it's just, it's a high output flex plate. So yeah, now I need to go and look into possibly getting a new thing. I got my crane over to Ben's house, and then we can. I'm gonna have to pull this engine out, which sucks. It's not a fun time. <laughs> oh, Ooh, what you wobbly boy. Oh. Awesome. This, this tutorial has turned into how to take an engine out of Ranchero, into how to eat apple by Sam. <laughs> it came off of here. <laughs>